How's it going guys? Welcome to Harvest Day. So, our oat field is finally ready to harvest. So we are going to be doing that today. And that is very exciting. Because this is our very first harvest on our own farm. I'm looking forward to see how that goes. Luckily, the oat prices are really high at the moment. Which is good for us because, well, we don't have any grain storage. So we are effectively selling right off the field. So we can't really hold on to any crop until the pl prices are good. But, like I say, the prices are actually pretty great at the moment. So that is a big bonus. Uh, the other fields are not quite there yet. But hopefully we'll be able to get into them very soon as well. So this is our soybean field looking very healthy. And so is the canola field bean and linseed. But yeah, we have to... Uh, get some machinery hooked up and moved around so we're gonna have to get that cedar out of there so that we can get to the header probably not a bad idea to put the cedar in the back of the shed here for now because um, our harvest is gonna be a little bit staggered because some of our crop are in different growth stages so yeah I think it's gonna be a lot of connecting disconnecting reconnecting um, of things like the headers because i don't want the combine to just sit outside so yeah i might actually just shuffle things around a little bit maybe put the cedar at the back so that we can get to the header a little bit easier but we need to get the ford onto the trailers and also i have bought a little pressure washer so just a tiny little one but it'll do the job for now i haven't actually got around to cleaning anything yet so everything's still dirty i did get the front loader off of the Ford so I put it over there because I sold the lifter and um, the bag lifter as well so the the pallet lifter and the bag lifter I sold both of them got a pretty good price for them actually and also good news we have a pallet fork so I was recently talking about um, getting a pallet fork or maybe getting a pallet fork once we need it but um, yeah we have one obviously there was one attached to um, our lifter. For some reason, I just thought that it was one unit. But um, yeah, it's obvious. This comes off of that. So I didn't sell this. I just sold the lifter. So we do have a pallet fork if we ever need one. So we don't have to uh, buy it. Yeah, so that is good news. Uh, means we, we don't have to spend money on a pallet fork. Not that they're particularly expensive. But um, yeah, it all adds up. There we go. Our lovely Ford, new to us Ford, uh, definitely not new, uh, could definitely do with a wash. Should we maybe give it a quick wash? Let's do that. I, I thought I'd probably do it after we get this field harvested, but it, it's looking it's looking rough. Actually, let's, let's keep that running. All right, that should just about do it. That is looking much, much better. There we go. So yeah, it really is not in bad condition at all. I mean, a bit of paint flaking here and there, but you were sort of expected of a, a tractor of this age. Yeah, that is so much better. Oh my goodness, I can see out the windows. That that helps when you're farming. It, it helps when you can see what you're actually doing. Okay, so let's get these traders hooked up. Uh, we'll probably give the combine a wash as well uh, before we get into the field although no probably not a good idea because we're gonna get everything wet and then yeah it's not gonna do its job properly because everything's gonna be very sticky on the inside so let's hold off of that I know it doesn't look great but um, it'll be fine we'll we'll give it a nice clean when we are done with that field right that is did I did I hook that up properly yeah I did and uh, this one should be hooked. It is. Okay. Hooked up. Hooked. Yep. Hooked up. Fantastic. Let's um, take this over to the field. I don't really have too much space to put this. But I think we'll just leave it in the road. Yeah. That'll be fine. I was trying to think if we can turn around at the bottom of the field. But I don't think so. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave it here. Just enough space so that we can get behind it with the combine all right that should be fine yeah we can get in here with the combine and um, we'll obviously create a bit of a, a headland around the field first with the combine so that'll give us a bit of room uh, to turn around 
when we need to. Now, I don't think we're going to fill our two trailers. I would love if we did, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but hopefully we get a good yield. The um, the crop is looking very healthy and we've we've been taking good care of the field and you know, applying fertilizers where needed. And yeah, we hopefully, hopefully we can um, make some good money off of that. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll be honest. I am a little bit nervous that um, all of this work is not going to amount to much, but we'll have to wait and see. Like I say, the good thing is the prices are really high at the moment. So that uh, makes me feel a little bit better. But um, yeah. We'll have to see. I mean, it's farming. I, I know it's a small field, but maybe my expectation is a bit higher than it should be for a small field like that. But we shall see. We'll see how things go. Anyway, I'm going to get this hooked up real quick. And um, we are going to head back to the field. And we are going to get our first harvesting job done on the farm. And of course, we'll get the drone out for that. So, for now, sit back. Relax and enjoy. Alright, well, that is job done, and that didn't take too long at all. Not a very big field, and unfortunately we didn't really end up with much in terms of crop. Not even half a trailer, but we'll see what we end up getting. So I am on my way to Pine Creek Stores, which is just over on the right hand side here, and we are going to sell the oat. They are currently paying £2,005 per thousand liters so we'll see i think really anything over three thousand pounds probably be a bonus to be honest but yeah i think my expectations were a little bit too high i think it's because i'm so used to having done so many contract jobs recently and we almost always drive off the fields with two full trailers three full trailers sometimes four so um yeah it's um it's not quite the same situation on our little farm. So, yeah, expectations were maybe a little bit too high. But anyway, we have a crop and that is the main thing. And like I say, anything about 3,000 up would be nice. 3,895 pounds is what we got for that. So, yeah, actually not bad. For a tiny little field like that, it's not too bad at all. I think um, my, my two trailers were a little bit overly optimistic but yeah i i don't think we're gonna need two trailers uh, to cart any of our crop off of our fields because our other fields are bigger but they're also not a uh, bulky crop so i don't think we're gonna need the two trailers although we're saying that we could use the trailers for storage if needs be if the prices are really low then we could put crop in the trailers which means we can store two different crops because we've got two trailers. Uh, we can top them and just leave it in there until the prices are better. It's not ideal, but it will work. So 
in that sense, probably worth buying that second trailer. And eventually we will need it. Our operation will continue to grow. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm fine with the having the second trailer, having um, spending the, the money on that second trailer. It wasn't too much anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I probably would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the other thing, though, is we have quite a bit of straw on that field. Now, again, it's a small field. It's not going to amount to a lot, but it's a decent amount for what it is. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe buying a baler, baling that up, and we can sell that as well. So we can still make a bit of extra money off of that field. It's not just the crop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep an eye out and see if I can find an old baler, something cheap. I don't want to go spend a huge amount of money, but it'll also be nice to have a baler on the farm if we do eventually decide to get into uh, grass works, uh, hay or silage or anything like that, well then it'll be nice to have a baler on hand already. I don't think we're going to be able to bale a lot of our crop um, or get straw off of a lot of our crop but yeah maybe we should bale what we can and make a little bit of money off of that as well. Maybe not... A terrible idea yeah I have got the combine parked out here because I want to give that a wash before I get it put away but I did also find a contract job that we can head off and go do which will get a bit of extra money in the bank account as well which will be nice but yeah I'm I'm relatively happy um, with almost four thousand pounds off of a small field like that we'll see how it goes for the rest of the fields like I mentioned earlier, they're not quite there yet, but hopefully uh, very soon. But yeah, I am going to see if I can find a baler. I'll start looking um, maybe on this job. Maybe we'll have GPS and I'll have a bit of time to scan around on the old interwebs. See if I can find something. I'll maybe um, give the dealership a shout as well and see if they've got anything or know of anything. Uh, where did I go with the quad bike? Oh, it is on the Cedar. But yeah, I'll see if I can find something. And maybe not a bad idea, if it's not too expensive, that is. But yeah, we are going to head down. We're going to take a look at the job that we have got waiting for us. We'll see what we are working with in terms of uh, equipment and field size and all that good stuff. And we'll get that knocked out as well. All right, we are just about coming up to the field in question. So it is a harvesting job on, I believe, a rye field which is interesting should be fun not sure what we are actually working with in terms of equipment but i'm guessing this is the field here hmm did i see a trailer in here i did okay i'm guessing that is the header trailer that they parked in there Let's get it out of the way so i'll just leave the quad bike here then Is that sugar beet? Uh, looks like it. That's a nice looking field, actually. Right. So, in terms of equipment over here, we have got a Nova, by the looks of it. Uh, maybe I should close that just to get it out of the way. And we have got a little Zeta, Major CL80. We've used these a few times now. Nice little tractors, actually. Not bad at all. And just a nice dolly trailer. Everything seems to be hooked up. So that is good. And uh, this is the field. It looks like actually quite a big field for the size of the equipment. So we've got the Nova 330. Everything there seems to be good. All right. Let's um, drop that. Yeah, that is a fairly big sized field. All right. This is going to be fun. So... I am going to let this run for a little bit, just get everything heated up. And I'll go around, make sure everything is looking good and as it should. And then we're going to get the drone out. We'll get this field knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Right, well, that is another job done, and that took quite a while. The harvesting itself wasn't too bad. It was driving up and down. I had to do four trips. I don't know why they only gave me one trailer. Maybe they only had the one available at the time, but yeah, it would have really been nice to have a second trailer over there. But anyway, at least we got paid well for the job. We got a nice little bonus as well. So we are currently sitting on 39,301 pounds. But we are back at the farm, and this is the oat field that we harvested. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of straw on the field, which I would like to bale. So I have been taking a look around the old interwebs, and there's a few balers that are available. So I'll probably go and take a look at some of them and see if we can find a decent one, something that won't be too expensive but we'll also do a decent job. But I've also been thinking a little bit while I was harvesting there. I think what I might end up doing is after we harvest the soybean field here, I think I'm going to combine these two fields and just make this one big field. There's no real point in having small fields like this. Um, our operation grew a little bit quicker than what I expected it to. Uh, we bought a lot of other fields that I don't think we were going to buy that soon. Which is why I split this field to try and get a bit of a variety of crop in uh, just as a safety net because you don't want all of your eggs in one basket. And I'm kind of thinking that I might end up doing the same thing here. I might cut down that big tree there, cut out the rest of the hedges and everything there and just um, plowing straight through and making that small field over there and this field one big field. I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% on that one yet, but maybe I'll do that. But this one here, I think I'll definitely do that. Yeah, the other thing is, we'll see how it goes with the rest of the crop, um, especially the soybean. Uh, usually that goes for a decent price, but we'll see how it goes for the rest of the crop. Maybe, just maybe, I'm thinking about combining these two fields and turning this into a grass field. And maybe we'll get into silage. Now, we don't have the space to build a big silage pit or anything like that, so if we do go that route, we're going to have to do um, baling, so we'll have to uh, wrap the grass and then um, yeah let it ferment and uh, make silage that way rather than collecting it and putting it into a bunk and letting it ferment so there'll be a bit more cost to incur if we do go that route because we'll have to get a mower as well as a bale wrapper and of course a baler but we might have a baler soon uh, if we're gonna bale these fields here but i don't know yet maybe i'll just turn it into another arable sort of a crop uh, cereal crop or something. I am not 100% sure, but I'm kind of thinking about maybe, yeah, dipping my toes into um, the the silage side of things to see if we can make a bit more money if we go that route. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyway, I have got a lot of work to do over here. Um, not very exciting work. I'm just going to wash some equipment i want to clean up the combine and the header uh, the ford is nice and clean i might give the trailers a wash as well i'll get that disconnected i'll get it all put away and um, but yeah i might give the little ford a, a clean up as well but yeah just a lot of cleanup work to do and um, get everything or getting everything back in the sheds and where they belong but um yeah i'll probably do that off camera because it won't be uh, very exciting. But yeah, that was um, quite an exciting day. Very exciting day that we got harvesting done on one of our own fields finally. And unfortunately, the the yield wasn't amazing. I think for the size of the field, the, the yield was great. But as a bigger picture, half a trailer um, was a bit underwhelming. But we ended up making a good chunk of money off of that. So um, yeah, I am happy enough. But we'll see where we go with um, the fields and, well, generally our operation uh, down the line. But we are going to leave it there for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time.